Hi guys, we're out in my garage at the moment. I am more or less confined to doing fairly leisurely projects at the moment. I'm not particularly well. Somewhere out here, and here we are. Hmm. Water jet car. Hmm. I was looking for something we could do indoors. That may not be what I'm looking for. Yes, I don't think we'll be doing that one indoors. Right. So this wasn't the one I was looking for. It must be up in the loft. Okay, part two following shortly. Right, I found it eventually. I have to pull a few other things out of the way. It wasn't in the loft, it was in my storage cupboard. Hydrogen car. I only ever did one video on it, as far as I can tell. So, we'll see if we can get another video out of it. It does actually have a big solar panel. So it's all completely green. Solar panel. Connected to the hydrogen converter. Or creator, or what you want to call it. And then the gas from that goes into the car and then it runs and uh, I think it was either seven or nine years ago I picked this up in a charity shop let's give it another go eh let's have a look in the box first it looks smaller than I remember it Oh, yes, that's tiny. <laughs> I thought it was much larger than that. Funny how your memory plays tricks on you. I was watching the original video I did. And it said it started off a little bit disappointing, but it got better if you kept running it. It sort of improved. I could do a teardown on it, but there's no point. You can see everything that's in there. That balloon thing is the reservoir for the hydrogen which put in through there i think we might look at the instructions in a minute and that bit there is the bit that converts the hydrogen to electricity obviously not directly you don't make electricity directly from hydrogen but that's the bit that does the job. And then you've got an electric motor there that actually drives the car. Fuel cell is an assembly of advanced material layers where hydrogen and oxygen react with each other to, to generate electricity and water without any combustion. Okay, read carefully and understand the instructions before starting to assemble the kit. Oh, it's already assembled, so we're not going to have to worry about that. 
Right, preparing the hydrogen station for operation. Let's just put the box on the floor. That's the solar panel, which we won't be using. Because it's winter time and it's also dark outside. So we'll have to see what we can use instead of the solar panel. There we go. That's what we can use instead of the solar panel. Two AA batteries. Don't use it for more than 20 minutes at a time. And turn it off and let it rest for at least 10 minutes. Recommend using distilled water so you don't get all the extra ions in there. Well, unusually for me, I'm reading the instructions. There are a lot of instructions. But one thing it says is it could run for up to three minutes on a single tank of fuel. I'm sure I never ran it for that length of time. If it's going to run for that sort of length of time, I'll put a tether in the middle of the floor and we'll get it going round in circles. But we'll just see if we can get it going out through the kitchen, first of all. Right, first thing we have to do is suck the air out of that balloon. We do that by putting this in and putting this in here. Right. I filled this with water. You might be able to see that's absolutely full up. Now we need to pull that right out. Oh, that's not good. Something, something's leaking. Because that's refilling again. Okay, well, we'll try it like that. It's not going to be perfect by any means. So, switch it to DC power. We have pretty flashing lights. And eventually we should see that inflating. Bearing in mind, this is whatever I said, about nine years old. I suppose it's quite surprising that that um, reservoir is even working at all. It's only a balloon. There's a few bubbles forming over there. Obviously, it's splitting hydrogen and oxygen out of the water. So that's probably oxygen bubbles. So I expect if I tried to collect them, we could actually do something with the oxygen, but I'm not going to. I don't think there's anything more to see on this side than there is on the other side. And we can see the bubbles rising up on that side. That is inflating. That is the full 20 minutes. And that really hasn't expanded very much. 
but we'll give it a go. Not a lot happening. Right, well, that was complete failure, but we'll give it another go. I've got to leave it for 10 minutes to settle down again, and then we'll give it another go. While I'm waiting for it to reset itself, or rest, or whatever they called it, for 10 minutes, I'm reading the hints and tips here. And tip two, if the fuel cell has not been used in a while, well, we're talking seven to nine years and it's not working well the fuel cell needs to be warmed up by adding water and then being short circuited follow these steps to reactivate it so i will give it another go as it is and if we still get nothing out of it then we'll follow this tip which seems very likely being as it hasn't been used for that many years. Well, I have to say this is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping it might actually work. And yes, it is nine years since I last used it. It does appear that we are creating hydrogen. That is oxygen bubbles raising up there. But it's just not filling the chamber up. The little balloon has filled up a little bit, but it should be pressing against the sides. And that's not happening. And I've just followed the tips in the manual on improving the flow. And we seem to be getting more bubbles formed or more quickly, but we're still not blowing that balloon right up that's nothing like what it's supposed to be but that flow rate is much faster mm, slow down again there mm, still not looking good well, we've definitely got a air leak here. So I've just forced it full by using the syringe. And as soon as I take the syringe off again, it collapses back down again. So we're going to have to do a disassembly. We have got progress, though. The wheel was just moved. Yep. Yeah. We've actually got some motion. I'm going to switch it on. The wheels are turning. That's with virtually no hydrogen in there at all. So there's possibilities. That's it. I think we've used it all up now. Right. It's not a completely lost cause. There'll have to be a Episode two, won't now? So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.